Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. If I were to ask you, what is the chief end of man? What is man's purpose here on earth? I don't know too many people would give the correct answer. The correct answer, this is according to the Westminster Catechism. This is the first question in the Catechism. Man's chief end is to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. That's your, that's your purpose in life on earth, is to glorify God and then to enjoy Him forever, to be obedient to His laws and His commands to love each other and therefore spend eternity with him people that hate are not going to end up where they want to end up they think they're going to self-righteous people are not going to end up where they think they're going to end up judgmental people are not going to end up where they think they, they want to end up but look at the sky i mean i don't know if you can see this too good through the cheap bone but it is beautiful there's beautiful real genuine clouds one time when i was down in arkansas in 2019 I looked up and saw the crowd and I went, I have not seen crowds like that for 17 years since I'd moved to Missouri. And I was very upset that I spent wasted all that time, you know, not seeing beautiful clouds. Well, now it's, it's blustery enough today that there's not a chemtrail in the sky. It's blown away. So I've told people for years, don't worry about stuff. Don't get angry about stuff. Just let the Lord take care of it. If you can't, if you can't, if you can, there's something, there's things you can do about chemtrails, but if you can't afford to get it, buy a cloud buster or build one, you know, on Chemtrail Buster, you can buy them for 300 bucks, build one for probably less than $100. But if you can't afford to buy one or make one, pray. And why be upset? Why focus on the negative? If you focus on the negative, you're going to end up negative. Um, if you, if you, there's somebody that you're afraid of and you hate them and you're angry with them and you're afraid they're going to hurt you and you focus on that and you worry about that, you're going to end up like them. You're going to end up being that person. I'm telling you, this is wisdom. Listen to it, I hope. Anyway, I'm just having a wonderful time here. My friend Bill is at stage four renal failure. The hospital said you're gonna die. He's not gonna die. We're gonna, you know, we're doing a lot of different things. We're praying. I gave him a long hug today. 